Our national debt is currently at over 19 trillion and is growing at an alarming rate. In this situation, it is imperative that we are cognizant while implementing new policies. We have to be prudent in this selection in order to not be drowned in debt and continue to support a society that can grow and prosper. It is therefore impractical to implement this bill. Measures have already been taken by the government and grocery stores to curb food waste. The USDA and the EPA plan to cut the amount of food waste in half by 2030 by partnering with private companies. For example, the Daily Table, a not-for-profit grocery store located in Boston, takes unwanted but healthy food products and sells them at cheaper prices to local residents. The Christian Science Monitor reported it in May 2016. In addition, this bill won't be effective because 99% of grocery stores already contribute to food banks, as previous senators have said. According to a 2015 article from the Food Marketing Institute, the report Decades of Donations, the 2012 survey of the food retail industry's support of food banks, found that U.S. grocery stores represent the top donation stream for Feeding America's network of food banks. Nearly all food retailers who responded to the survey indicated they support the food bank. 36% of them donated at least 100,000 pounds, and 21% of them donated more than 1 million pounds of food. Plus, the government already encourages supermarkets to partner with food banks. For instance, many food banks coordinate donation pickups with local grocery retailers. To encourage companies to donate, the government instituted the Good Samaritan Food Donation Act to protect donors from criminal and civil liability. In fact, consumers, not retailers, are the main contributor to food waste, contrary to some of the ideas of previous senators, like Senator Gupta. According to Julia Rodriguez, an arts green living political writer, consumers are buying too much food, which they don't eat, making them the largest source of food waste. In fact, grocery stores account for about 10% of food waste, but 42% happens in consumers' homes, as stated in a 2015 article from the Tampa Bay Times. Finally, it is simply impossible for the FDA to carry out the requirements of this bill. Other priorities leave the FDA strapped for cash, according to roll call. The FDA and FSIS also lack the budget and personnel to implement the bill, and overstretching the agencies could put food safety at serious risk. According to a Daily Beast investigation, the nation's food safety system exposes Americans to the risk of illness and death because of a lack of inspectors and budget cuts. Currently, the FDA only inspects 25% of food processing plants, showing that they already cannot keep up with their inspections. There are over 36,000 grocery stores in the United States. The bill requires all discarded food items to inspect at all supermarkets every day. We must negate this bill, because these inspections would take simply too much money, time, and inspectors away from ensuring that all the food Americans are going to eat is safe. Thank you. I'm not open to, open to questions. Okay, that's a speech of 243 questions. Marcia? Senator, what do you have to say about the 91% of Americans uh, that have occasionally thrown out food after it's sell by date? Well, this is not the retailer's fault. We need to educate Americans on the meaning of the sell by date so that they can better, um, they can better like, buy what they need. When the government is losing $2.6 billion a day, do you really think that $1.4 billion will really be a big deal? Well, I think um, any, any amount of like, large money like that is a big deal, and we should better channel our funding to educating consumers. Senator, isn't it true that retailers do account for a large uh, amount of food wastage because they do throw out good food with damaged packaging? Well, the uh, consumers take up a lot more, so I think we should, instead of focusing on retailers, we should focus on consumers. Thank you, sir.